I'm here with Dave Lang from Associated Craft Butchers, and he is going to show us exactly what to do with your Christmas turkey before you start cooking. So Dave, what is the first step once you get it back? As soon as you get it home from the store, you have to put it into the fridge. Put your turkey in on a couple of sheets of kitchen towel to soak up any juice. But turkey is, is a perishable product, so it needs to be refrigerated. So that's very important. So then you're storing it in the fridge, and then you're ready to cook. What do you start with? Okay, you open the bag, and it's probably a good idea to use the bag as a, a surface to stop spreading turkey juice all over your kitchen worktop. Because as with all meat, there are germs on the turkey, which are killed during the cooking. And by the way, uh, we, we, we hear from people who rinse the turkey under the tap in the sink absolutely no need. In fact, it's a very bad idea to do that because okay. you're, spreading the, you're spreading the germs all over your sink, your worktop, your hands, and the whole kitchen will be covered in it. It right. doesn't need to be rinsed because any germs that are on it will be killed during the cooking process. So, so the oven takes care of everything. Absolutely. People talk about stuffing, and I personally recommend that you don't stuff the body cavity, which is this end of the turkey here. Okay. There are a number of reasons for that. One, it, it impedes the flow of warm air. Okay. from the oven through the turkey so it might not be cooked fully on the inside and secondly you'll get a lot of uh, fat and, and juices con congealing at the bottom of the turkey which mm. the stuffing will soak up again you don't want to be in any trouble over Christmas another so kind of bacteria pool it could absolutely be. so probably not a good idea to do that so the best place to do it is at the neck cabin which is here okay. so what you really need to do is open this up mm -hmm. and with your fingers slide your fingers around like this kind of loosen up the skin loosen there. up the skin make make space for the turkey mm -hmm. and then we'll put some butter in there okay so we have some butter here so we we'll grab a couple of those little blocks and just push them in and flatten them it's kind of some softened butter softened butter yeah and what that will do is during the cooking it will actually baste the turkey breast so your your turkey breast won't have dried up Take your stuffing and get it reasonably firm. You don't want it too powdery or dry. You want it so that you can work with it and it, it will stay in place. So not the really red crumbly not, type Not of the very dry. dry stuffing, but some people like it. it. It can be done, it just takes a little longer. Take the stuffing and then you push it in under the neck skin. You really can fit a lot in there. You can get you? a lot in there. Well, I've made room with the moving the breast. So you've got your stuffing in there. You can put a little bit more, I think and make a pouch of the neck skin mm -hmm. and then pull it down. Mm -hmm. Now, my mother used to sew it at Christmas time, but to save you a bit of time, you can use cocktail sticks. So just, oh, that's great. just thread, them through. thread them through. Just to hold the neck skin from moving during the cooking because it does shrink when the heat gets it. What happens generally is that the, the legs get overdone. So what you could do is take the legs off and either cook them uh, an hour after the turkey starts okay. or cook them separately, keep them for another day. So I'll, sh I'll just take the legs off, I'll show you what to do. And uh, just using a normal and any knife, kitchen knife. It doesn't really matter, just as long as it's reasonably sharp. Just in between the body and the leg, mm -hmm. open it up. Same on the far side, in between the body and the leg. And it kind of comes apart pretty easily, yeah, it's, so you're it's, not... it's, it's very simple. And then break it. Okay. Now, the knife is not really used to do any serious cutting. You're just going to separate them out here. I might have to hit this one a little bit. And, and that's just the backbone there that's your... That's the backbone. So there's your turkey crown. And there are your turkey legs. Now, you would probably want to separate them. If you plan to cook the turkey with the legs off, mm -hmm. ask the butcher to do this for you. He'll separate the legs off. Mm -hmm. You can either cook them an hour after you've started the turkey, or an hour and a half after you've started the turkey, or you can keep them for another day mm -hmm. and cook them on their own. But they're so much better, and the meat is so much more moist and, and flavorful, uh, and it's not dried out. Dave, thank you so much for showing us how to do all of this. This is really a great step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get your turkey from, say, the butcher safely into the oven for Christmas.